Two questions. So how did you choose your topic then? And you said you were always interested in sexuality, but you did uh, adolescent sexuality. Mm-hmm. And what, in your view, um, is a feminist orientation towards sexuality? Because you, you, know, you just said, you know, there's something that's, you can be very non-feminist. What mm-hmm. makes it feminist? I think what makes it feminist is, is believing that women have a, a right and entitlement to uh, their own sexuality, uh, their own feelings, their own choices and behaviors um, that don't hurt other people unless that's agreed to, mm. um, and to do so in a way that's safe and, and not violent and doesn't bring violence. And I mean all of those things very broadly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, the adolescent part, I think, I had been working with a researcher um, when I was an undergrad. We did work on children, but I was I was a camp counselor for a couple of years mm-hmm. and uh, was worked with teenagers in that context. And when I was at AGI, you know, the big big topic was, oh my God, we're having an epidemic of teen pregnancy, mm-hmm. and so there was a, a kind of discourse available. To, to fit my interest in sexuality into. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I got to Harvard, uh, I was more, I was thinking more about uh, doing something regarding adolescent pregnancy mm-hmm. because that's what people did, did when they were interested in sexuality in yes. those days. It was really all about um, helping teens, girls, not get pregnant. Mm-hmm. And it was a very, my, my, I had a very top down attitude. You know, I was a good white girl and I was going to help those poor girls who mm-hmm. just, you know, couldn't, did, for various reasons, were not able to protect themselves, but that they should have the right to make their own sexual choices. And uh, so I, very, I came at it with that attitude. Okay. And there was someone who was doing work um, under Carol's, uh, in, in that group who was studying adolescents, interested in the same issues, particularly around pregnancy, and uh, and more and more about sexuality. And I, she and I were able to work together. Mm-hmm. And so my idea sort of solidified there. And uh, in 1988, so see, I started the ed school in 87. So in 88, I started thinking about you know, what was I interested in really focusing on, mm-hmm. and um, I was, I, I, by then, adolescence and sexuality had really become connected for me. I was interested in women's sexuality, mm-hmm. and one of the, the obvious question is, how do women get like this? Right. Right, so I think that developmental psychology um, has always interested me because I, I want to know why. Mm-hmm. And when, actually, when I was a kid, people used to make fun of me. Mm-hmm. Um, because I always wanted to know why, why, why. When I was at camp, they used to call me reasonable because <laughs> I wanted to know the reason. What's the reason for that? What's the reason for this? So justification, which is such a big part of one's existence as an academic, has mm-hmm. always been very, come very natural to mm-hmm. me. And naturally. useful. <laughs> it's a useful well, turns out, it turns out it's very useful. Um, yeah. It turns out it's a very good fit. Yeah. 